What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we got our first trailer for the Wrong Turn film that is supposed to be coming out in the coming weeks. There actually is a release date that they did not share in the trailer. I'll talk about that in the, in a second. The trailer overall though was very good. It looks like they're going back to the roots of what made the original movie somewhat decent. Um, and they're going to give us a film that's worthy of being a possible sequel because it looks like they're teasing this could be a sequel to that film and they could be ignoring two through six no word on that of course just speculating but the trailer looks very good i can't wait to see what they do here with this film there's been a synopsis going around online teasing what we can expect apparently of course the film will follow a group of teens in in the mountains and all that type of nonsense but despite warnings to stick to the appalachian trail hikers stray off course and cross into land inhabited by a hidden community of mountain dwellers who use deadly means to protect their way of life Suddenly under siege, the friends seem headed to the point of no return unless one man can reach them in time. Now, these mountain dwellers, that's going to be the foundation, no doubt, because uh, the film was supposed to be titled Wrong Turn the Foundation. That was the title that was getting floated around online that had been penciled in. But I guess they dropped the foundation aspect and they're just going to call it Wrong Turn. I'm glad they're not calling it Wrong Turn 7. Honestly, all the wrong turn movies had had they had subsequent subtitles to them after the first one. So the fact that they're just calling it wrong turn, I don't really have an issue with it. I know a lot of you will because, you know, some people might find that confusing. But it doesn't look like we're going to be getting the similar, the, the same general premise of what we've gotten in the past. It looks like we're going to be picking up and learning about a whole different type of thing because it's it's clear in the trailer that they're following the same beats or familiar beats such as setting traps in the woods um capturing humans causing harm on people who infringe on their way of life now in the other wrong turn films those 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 deformed individuals their way of life was just cannibalism we didn't really know too much about them outside of that we did learn of course how they became deformed over the course of the subsequent sequels that are completely trash it, wrong turn 2 is fine wrong turn 2 is fine but everything else after that started venturing into torture porn and just it uh, i don't even want to think about it but i can't wait to see what they do here it's going to be a breath of fresh air the foundation whoever they are i think they will be a very interesting group of individuals if the original screenwriter has cooked up something that is going to be very thought-provoking for us because we have alan i believe his name is alan mcelroy um or alan e mcelroy he wrote the original film and he's back writing this one and he also had a hand in writing halloween 4 so i'm expecting something to be somewhat decent here just as it was with halloween 4 just as it was with wrong turn um he's proven himself to be able to make decent films and write good screenplays so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what he has to offer now that he's back involved with this franchise. It's clear that we're not going to be having deformed cannibals. I won't say we won't have cannibals, but they're not going to be deformed. The trailer does a very good job of, of hiding certain things from you, though. So we might get one or two people in this in this group, the foundation, who are deformed. But I don't think so. Based off of everything we've seen, they're just going to be a off a offbeat group of individuals who have a certain way of life that they live up in those mountains anyone who fringes upon them they're going to get the smoke they're they're going to get they're going to get dealt with they're going to just be brought down to their level and they're going to whatever they do with them that's the part that's intriguing to me what do they do with them because they don't seem like they're cannibals they don't seem like they're cannibals so what is it that you're doing with these people when you catch them what do you do with them i can't wait to see what the foundation's about i can't wait to see that because honestly the wrong term franchise it it honestly was just like it kind of was just there after the first film they were just cashing in on the just the title alone just dropping sequel after sequel after sequel so i'm glad we might be getting a very decent film here and again like i made mention of they didn't even drop or mention a, tr a release date in the trailer but if you go on amc theaters and type it in and click on the coming soon section for the poster that comes up it says January 26th is the release date. So I don't know. I saw it on my app. I saw it on my AMC Theaters app. It said January 26th was the release date. So I imagine they'll announce it at some point. You can actually Google it and it'll say the same thing. But the fact that I can buy a ticket tells me that that's the official release date. They could change it though. You know, we're living in a pandemic. But 
Another thing that has been talked about or speculated on is if this is somehow tied into the original and they ignore those other sequels, what if Eliza Dushku comes back? I don't see why she would come back. At that point, you have to this ha this would have to have something to do with the cannibals. This would have something to do with the deformed cannibals. So I don't see why Eliza Dushku's character would come back. Eliza du Eliza Dushku being involved in the project, nothing wrong with that at all, because I believe she was supposed to be in the second movie, but that didn't actually end up coming to fruition. Eliza Dushku is an amazing actress, but I don't see why she would have anything to do with this film. And if she's in it, that means there's some type of some type of connection to the original. So if there is some type of connection to the original, I can't wait to see how that all comes together. And ignoring two through six, I'm fine with that. Nothing wrong with that at all to me. I, I see no issue. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And I'm so glad we won't be having here. <gasps> but all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.